few days ago, I had a question to Jacob regarding with the name calling to his parents because up until now, I haven't called them mom and dad. It's because um, I'm very shy. I asked Jacob a question that, um, should I really start calling your mom and dad, mom and mommy and daddy? And he said, it's up to you. And I told him, like, I'm very, very shy, actually. But is it a big deal here? Or is it disrespectful if I'm just gonna call them Tita and Tito? And he said, no, it's just, it's not really a big deal in my country. And you can call my parents whatever you want. Even you can call them by their names. And that is very amazing culture for me. It's because it's so different in my country. We're in once you're already married with your partner you should call them or you should call his or her parents mommy and daddy if you're not gonna follow that that is so disrespectful that your in-laws will be very mad at you and will be very disappointed because for them you're not you're not respecting them name callings in the philippines is also part of respect or it is also a way it is also a way for you to show the other people that you respect them so if you notice if you're going to come to the philippines we have a lot of name callings we don't call even our family members by their names unless if we are talking to other people but if we are talking to them we have to use the name callings for example, for our older brother, we call them Kuya or Manoy. For older sister, we call them Ate or Manang. And for younger siblings, we have to call them Indai or Undong. And if you're gonna if you're not gonna follow that, that's so disrespectful. And that is very opposite here in this country, in European country, compared to the Philippines. So today i am alone at home it's saturday holiday here in czechia today but jacob is working and his parents are on vacation so i actually started cleaning here since yesterday because his parents are coming here or coming home this evening so i was really so obsessed of cleaning the entire house here, if you can see, everything is clean, folding clothes and what, oh no, washing clothes and folding clothes. So it's finished and I still have um, clothes that are drying outside because um, I would like the house to be um, organized once their par parents are coming home and for them as well to take some rest once they arrived here. In the Philippines, you know, uh, as I've mentioned before that we are not really into walking if we are going to go somewhere for example 30 minutes of walking we have to to ride a motorbike and here it's if you don't have a car if you don't have if you don't have a car if you don't have a motorbike or bicycle you have to walk because the transportation here is kind of is kind of hard for me because it's scheduled and there is a specific area where you have to wait for the transportation but in the philippines everywhere you are gonna wait into the road there are motorbikes that are going to come for you for riding so for us it's just so easy for us to ride the transportation in the philippines i mean the availability is very easy there's no Sari Sari store here as well, and that's the hard thing for me. So, I wanted to buy some ingredients for a recipe that I wanted to prepare for tonight for Kuba's parents. So, they'll have something to eat for dinner once they arrive from Croatia because they're driving their car. 10 hours of driving from Croatia here in, to here in Czechia. So, that will be very tiring for them. So, I decided to go to the store. But... I was checking um, to the store, but the challenge here is we don't have any Sari Sari, Sari Sari store here unlike in the Philippines. And for me to arrive to the nearest store, I have to walk for 30 to 40 minutes. 
but I don't have any bicycle or I don't have motorbike to drive so I decided to walk so all in all is one hour 20 minutes or one hour and 10 minutes of walking so I bought things here chicken wings I wanted to prepare this I don't know if I bought so many chickens but I decided to buy as many as I can so it won't be so there will be enough later here these are the ingredients and I'm gonna show you later guys what is this recipe that I am preparing I'm actually going to prepare it for the first time and I'm hoping that this recipe will be good for Cuba's parents and I hope they will like it because Jacob's dad is a chef and you know He's very good at cooking and I'm always uh, nervous when I'm gonna cook something because I'm not sure if it's good or not because I'm not really good at cooking. I mean, I'm not really that experienced because I started cooking once I came here already in Czechia. You know what guys, what's very funny thing about when I came here for the first time and I helped Kuba's mom while he was cooking before, it was a year ago and she wanted me to peel the potato you know potato in the philippines is not the main food i mean not the main carb food we have this rice so i don't really have experience in peeling it and so i grabbed the and so i grabbed the knife here i was too innocent <laughs> I grabbed the knife and grabbed the potato, tried to peel it, and she saw it like, what are you doing? And like, I'm peeling it using the knife. And then she gave me this one. I was like, what is this? It's a potato scraper. But it's so crazy that it was my first time seeing this, honestly. We don't have this kind of thing in my in our house. Tell me ignorant, <laughs> but honestly, we don't have like this. And I haven't seen like this as well in the Philippines, maybe because you're not using it. And it's been a year. Up until now, I still don't know how to peel the potato using this one. I still struggle so much and I hate it so much. But you know, if you're gonna use knife, you're not gonna save potato because you're going to peel too much skin from it. But this one is just so like very challenging for me and I still doesn't really know how to use it though Kuba and his mom tried to like teach me so many times but I still don't know how to do it <laughs> but yeah right now I'm peeling a potato I want to boil this one for them and I'm gonna prepare rice for me as well so I finished peeling the potato and it started boiling now Ta -da! I'm gonna boil it for I think 15 to 20 minutes now I'm going to prepare the chicken ingredients recipe so we have uh, we have ketchup I just have a little amount of ketchup I think it's enough I think and I also have tomato paste I'm just gonna make um, a, um how do we call it Exper experiment <laughs> I'm gonna experiment if it works and I have chili and pepper paste because we really I really don't have those specific one but if we have this like almost the same as the main ingredient it's fine to use and i'm gonna have cornstarch i think this is cornstarch and i also already grated the uh, garlic I have onion leaves i'm gonna chop it into small pieces later sesame seeds and i'm gonna have a flour it should be all-purpose flour, but I can't really find anything about that. Like, I mean, I'm so confused. So, it looks like a flour, so it's just fine. I really don't know how to translate all of this. It takes a lot of time. 
when I'm going on a shopping, I spend so much time in the store just to translate the products and it's so annoying for me. I supposed to be there just for example, go on a shopping just for a few goods. I think 20 minutes is enough, but I spend an hour and more than an hour just for me to read those goods and the names and so on and so forth. So it's so hard for me if I don't speak Czech or like it's so hard when English is not in this country. So I'm gonna need as well the um, oil and ginger but i don't have that so i'm planning i'm gonna go to the pub later because there's a kitchen there kuba's dad's kitchen and i'm gonna look for some oil and of course we have the chicken wings it's still the ice is still melting i'm still waiting for a few minutes okay so guys are you going to accompany me to the pub because <laughs> i already don't have anyone with me right now and i'm very shy to go there alone so you're going to accompany me to the pub okay so guys let's go i just left the potato there boiling i'll be just quick to the pub and the weather today is very nice it's 30 degrees so warm. I just wish the weather here in Europe is every day like this. Like there's no winter. I'll be more than happy that I don't need to come back to the Philippines because I'll be very satisfied with the weather. But since it's so cold, I just can't live with the cold weather. And it's so windy today. Have you noticed the traffic signs are flipping, falling down? So I just told them ole, that means oil. <laughs> but I have to find it now. Is it oil? Yeah, I guess. Oh my god, I don't know if it's oil or not. I'm gonna taste it. Okay, so I failed in this ingredient. There's no ginger, but make sure if you're gonna cook with this ingredient, there should be ginger. So the potato is already boiled, so I set it aside. And you know what this, it reminds me a lot of my childhood, this one. Because I have a lot of uh, memories with my mom regarding with this strainer. Or in my language, we call it saan. Our house in the Philippines doesn't have proper security. That means our kitchen doesn't have a door. So we're usually using the, the nails that and the hammer whenever we are going to lock the house kitchens open so maybe at night some people are going to sneak in and steal something so as i mentioned before that we usually wash our dishes to the river because we don't have this water pipe in our house or commonly in this in our village we are going to wash it together with the other kids and i'm like that's our strainer that's our knife that's our plate but they usually say no it's do you think it's only you who have this like that or like that so it's just so crazy because there are things that you have and there it's always like transferred to the neighbor's house <laughs> jacob is very worried about once we are going to live in the philippines if there are, there might be things that are stolen and so right now we are really trying our best to secure our house kuban i spoke that after the wall rendering we're going to repair the doors and the windows for the security of the house because you know he's a foreigner and he might be prone to some thieves and you know guys it's i think it's not so common for you to hear so many bad words or bad comments or negative things about my country but i don't want to sugarcoat anything that's what's happening there though my country is very beautiful the culture is so nice people are so nice but we can't really deny the fact that there are also negative things so i just want to share even here in czechia like people are living in a very good state compared to the filipinos but there are still thieves here that's why we are really um making sure the house is locked the next step is i'm going to mix it together since i mixed the things earlier already 
I make sure that the chicken wings is very coated with the flour and also the cornstarch. It's well coated. So when you fry it, it's it's good. You know, if you understand. So next, I'm adding salt. Salt, salt, salt. Pepper. Mix it together. So I was looking for some ginger, but we have the powdered one. So I'm so happy. I'll just add it slowly. I'm so hungry already. <laughs> I'm still cooking and I know that there's still a lot of process in cooking this one, but I'm already very hungry right now. So I started heating the oil to make it ready. Medium heat. You know, we Filipinos are into frying things, but I would say one of the most weakness when we talk about cooking for me is the frying things. I'm really having a hard time when will be the oil when will be the oil becoming hot and to distinguish if the food is already cooked, especially chicken, like frying chicken and frying meat. I'm really having a hard time identifying if it's cooked or not. So we will see what will happen later. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna wait for a few minutes. I'm so weak at frying, as I mentioned. There are moments as well that I got burned so many times, especially here in my hand. And I was burned here as well, here in my area. Because while I was cooking and I did not know that the water was so cold, I know, so hot. And I started washing, like I forgot it's hot. And I started washing the dishes and the water poured into me. God. Pour into me. And when I was frying as well was a month ago, the oil poured into my hand. So I have a lot of scars of being burned. Because I'm really clumsy at cooking. That's also one of the reasons why, why I don't really cook. Because I know how clumsy I am. And I'm very scared to get burned. Not sure guys if you know how to cook a rice properly. Okay. This is coming from an Asian. I usually use cup in measuring it. If you're gonna have one cup of rice, you should put at least two cups of water. But we have this kind of traditional way of measuring, measuring rice. And I'm gonna show you. I mean, measuring the water of the rice. And my mom, like every Filipino are doing it. But you know, sometimes it's also not accurate, depends on the rice. And we know what kind of rice that it it is suitable for that kind of measurement if this rice will be dry if this rice will be very smooth once you cook it so i'm gonna rinse rinse the rice first i'm just gonna rinse it once make sure you pour all the water out and i'm gonna use my thumb measurement this area that's what we Asians are doing. We're using our thumb. If you don't want to use to use the way of um, cup water, you're just gonna measure it through your thumb. So, thumb. You have to put your hands on the finger down to the ball and make sure it's correct. So, is it? Yeah, perfect. I'm still frying the chicken, so I decided I'm gonna arrange the table. It's crazy. I've been cooking for an hour. It's already 7.30. And it's still frying. <laughs> My back hurts so bad for standing for over an hour now. Rice is prepared. Potato this and everything and I'm gonna put the recipe here I'm so excited oh yeah guys I forgot to tell you that after this chicken will be fried I'm gonna saute a sauce and these are all of those ingredients I forgot to mention it earlier but we need a vinegar we need soy sauce 
we need honey this yeah i mentioned this is a seeds ketchup pastes and garlic onion leaves too i have already the last chicken to fry so while waiting for that i decided i'm gonna go outside to get those clothes i hang i hope the washing machine won't give up or it's not broken I'm really acting like a housewife today <laughs> but I'm doing houseworks today is a very busy day for me because most of the time during Saturday I'm just at home getting some rest because of my busy days as well during the week the weekdays I'm working multiple jobs and I really want to relax during weekends but today is very productive day today i'm not just i'm not sleeping because i'm always sleeping like almost all the time chicken is done so now i'm heating the pan for the saute i'm just gonna use the same oil just a very few of it just one teaspoon of it I guess being a housewife is not really my thing. I'm not, I'm make, no, I mean specifically cooking is not my thing. But I love washing, I love cleaning, I love all kinds of houseworks except cooking. It's not, it's kind of challenging for me. Then after you finish cooking the sauce, you're going to mix the fried chicken. Look everyone, here it is. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. But I hope it's tasty. And since we have the onion leaves, I'm gonna pour some onion leaves on it. And of course, sesame seeds. Yo, it's finished guys. To open the Pandora's box, this recipe is actually inspired by a Korean fried chicken. I'm not sure how does it called in Korean, but I usually see this in the Philippines, but it's originally came from that uh, came from Korea and let's try it's already 8 and Ku was not here yet because um, he's working in a farm and they are having harvest and he told me that he might be coming home late or he will be coming home tomorrow so it's the same as last year that he needs to stay there in the farm and over time farmer's life well, let's taste it kuba's parents are not here yet so we're gonna wait for them later mm. Mm. i hope kuba will come early so he can try to taste it so good horse rice that's all for today's video thank you so much for tuning in and for always supporting our channel kuba and i appreciate it so much and we are very happy that you are part of our journey thank you and see you again next time bye